Hi, I'm Lydia. Mm. This chair. I don't even... The musical we're doing in theater this year is Xana Don't, a high school and a world where everyone is gay. And then this uh, male person and this female person are like, we want to snog all the time, guys. And everyone's like, ha ha ha, heterosexuals, ha. And then they sing about it. So I'm going to audition for As You Like It, which is the play we're doing right now. Yeah, it's Shakespeare. I'm going to audition for As You Like It, and I'm going to play cello for As You Like It auditions. It's going to be awful, because I'll have to like play cello in front of people. It'll be awful. Ugh. Skyline is also doing as you like it, like jerks. But we're doing ours first and ours will be better. <laughs> so everyone will go to Skylines and be like, remember that time when we saw communities as you like it? And then they'll say Skylines and they'll be like, ha <laughs> ha. This isn't funny. Romeo and Juliet was awesome. I built this wall with Annabeth. And on it, there was a poster, and it said, Remember that time when I would only eat boxes of tangerines? And 32 is still a goddamn number. 32 still counts. Gonna make count, gonna make count. Don't swear, kids. It's not coming. I play cello. I play cello! I really do play cello. I'm not just saying I play cello because I wish I played cello, but I really do play cello. Part of the problem with playing cello is that you can't just be like, oh yeah, I play cello, because cello is like, well, first of all, cello is stigmatized or something, as something only rich kids play, which isn't true. Also, you can't take your cello anywhere. You can't be like, hey guys, just gonna play my cello here. Cello is a classy instrument. You have to play cello in like a suit every time you wanna practice. It's just that classy. This one time I did this thing called Phoenix Fest, which is like a, music festival. At Phoenix Fest, uh, you were paired into like groups of people and you did like a concert at the end of the week. Except it wasn't even a week, it was just a weekend. So I learned a piece and I played it in two days with a group of people I had never met before. We were like the last people who signed up. Our piece was this like symphony in D minor or whatever. It was actually someone's Uno Bow, I believe, if you're familiar with that, which you're not. I wasn't. It was meant for a group of four people, a cellist, a violinist, another violinist, and a viola player. But we were a cellist and two violin players, first and second violin. We had to name our trio. And since our music piece was for a quartet, we named our trio clearly a quartet. And then we came on stage with the name clearly a quartet. And everyone was like, where's the person and we were like ha, ha. Howell has this tripod thing and it's really complicated it has all these lovers and stuff you just owns a tripod it's just, I don't know if I did want a tripod I could just use my music stand because it has the same amount of levers that was the joke right there. I sound really not witty this one time I lent my music stand to my music teacher for use in like this giant concert thing and then I didn't get it back for like a month so I started taping my music on the walls it's still there that's why I didn't have any music during the concert then I got my music stand back he was like what did you do not practice for three months and I was like yeah that's what happened and then my walls were like I'm eating an Oreo Oh, it's orange inside. It's orange inside. That's weird. Ah, I'm not sure if I want to eat this orange. One time my mom bought me these Shrek Rice Krispies instead of regular Rice Krispies because they were on sale. But when you opened them and took them out of the package, they were green, like bright green. And they looked like snot and bogeys. I don't want to eat snot and bogeys, I told my mother. And my mother was like, they were on sale. Okay, the moral of this story is that when snot and bowies are on sale in the supermarket, your parents will buy them because they're on sale. And they will make you eat them. I bet these weren't on sale. This one has a ghost on it. You can't see it. Oh yes you can. Right there. It's a ghost. 
So you can tell they're Halloween. The record button is orange too, it must be an Oreo, I should eat it. If I was going to be really scary on Halloween, I would take an Oreo and I would color it orange and I would give it to unsuspecting children and they would open it up. Oh look, this Oreo is orange. And then they would scream. Because that's what I would do. That is what I did. That happened. If I was really conceited, I would just talk at a video camera all day. But I wouldn't stare at the camera, I'd stare at myself. I am really conceited, but this isn't my camera. Wait for it. I'm chewing. Now my teeth will look black. My favorite song. My favorite band slash musical artist is probably Anya Duvicat. Look her up right now. Pause this video right now. Are you pausing it? I didn't think you were. That's because you like my beautiful face so much. I'm the prettiest girl in the world. No, that's Helen. So this one time I did this thing with the stuff. That's what happened. I babysit very small children for church, so I don't have to go to church, because church is boring. I'm sorry, reverends and priests that may be watching this, including good friends of mine who are priests. I love you a lot, but church is boring. I'm sorry, I don't really mean that. I'm a teenager. I'm just a teenager, don't listen to me. Anyhow, so I like take care of these small children and every once in a while they're like we're going to sit in the storyteller's chair so you can't sit in the storyteller's chair and I'm like that is the storyteller's chair and you cannot sit in it and they're like and I'll be like I'm the tallest so you have to listen to me and they're like okay I don't know why that works but it works really well don't tell them I said this, because then they'll be like, Oh, you're not really an authority. I am an authority. <sighs> my hat. I was talking to someone on Skype. And I was like, I don't want to hold my cell phone anymore. I think I'll throw it across the room. And then I did. And they were like, I only throw my cell phone across the room when I'm really mad. My poor cell phone. It's undergone a lot of hardships. I chew on it.